beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see that it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone, so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You were blessed and stay blessed. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you Express your passion and your desire. Go ahead and bless him everywhere, inside and outside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, thou art well. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Only potent Father of mercy and grace, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. 
Holy Spirit, thou art well come in this place. Oh, me, potent Father. You are welcome. Spirit of the living God, we thank you. I pray tonight that you will visit us and give us an encounter. We have come before your mighty presence. Open our eyes and cause us to see. Open our ears and let us hear the sounds from heaven. Lord, we bless you. Holy Spirit, we cannot do without you. And so we declare that this ground is open. We bow down and worship you. Worship me, oh, worship me. We bow down and worship me, worship me, oh, worship him. Lift your voice and sing. We bow down and we enter in. We bow down and worship. We enter in. Enter in. Oh, enter in. Is the consuming fire. Consuming fire. This is holy ground. This is holy ground, say. Oh, come, oh, come, oh, come. And come. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, 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 your name is called Emmanuel, your name is called Emmanuel, your name is called Emmanuel, the voices again one more time. Sing Emmanuel. 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 
Your name is called. Your name is called. His name is called. from your heart.
I love you more than life. 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 Hallelujah. Let me teach you a little song. I wrote this song years ago. It's a very simple song. It says, Let the weight of your glory fall and let it cover all the earth. Oh, goodness, the presence of God is mighty in this place. Mighty. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. That's all to the song. Sing it from the depths of your heart. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. That's our desire. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Can you sing it? Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover. Lord, let your Shekinah mantle us tonight. Let it cover all the earth. Come on, lift your hands, lift up the instruments. Let it cover all the earth. This is our desire, oh God. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let 
Go ahead and worship him. Your presence is mighty in this place. Mighty in this place. Yeah. You're mighty in this place. You're mighty in this place. You're mighty in this place. Say Maria, say Maria, Mosuta, ba 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 ba. Say Masuta, Maria, ba 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 ba. Say the Konya, Malala, na na mos. Ya na na mos, Ori, ya na na mos. Mama, ma so no mos, igere ne 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 mos, ni ya na na na. Go ahead and sing in the spirit. Go ahead and put melodies upon your prayer. Shama na 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 masoto bakata balada bakata brenda gete rakata balada se baba balada 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 box so balada balada box sumaria na 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 hey karamo se na 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 box se na 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 box rakata balada balada box se na 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 box Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings, awesome are you, Lord. Shima na 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 mosi na na na. Awesome are you, Lord. King of kings, mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings, say, mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings, mighty are you, Lord. Oh, he arises as a man of war tonight. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. Kappa, te kappa. Sente kappa. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Mighty are you, Lord. Sena na maliana na mos. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Awesome are you, Lord. Awesome are you, Lord. Awesome are you, Lord. King of kings. Awesome are you, Lord. King of kings. So let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open the flood? Gates of heaven, let it rain, let it rain. Would you open the flood gates of heaven? Listen, I hear the rain, I hear the rain, he's opened. The floodgates of heaven tonight. We see the rain. We see the rain. He's opened the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open. Blood 
gates of hell. Go ahead and worship. Let it rain. Open, open the floodgates of heaven. Open the floodgates of heaven, Lord. We hear the rain, we see the rain, let it rain, let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Let it rain, let it rain. Siga bala da bande grata kapada bala. Go ahead and pray in the spirit. Zaka braka taba baba kata prenda kata kata bala da bot. Siga de bala da 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 ba koto braka da bala da ba kari da 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 ba. Mana mana na mana na makodo ba koso prega da bala da ba. Sopra toko topa kata bala da ba ba ba. Rada bala na prega da da broso to bala da ba kata prega da bala da ba. Seka da bronto sko bros ko bala da ba ya da bala da ba. Mama la 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 mo subari ya na 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 na. Hallelujah. I arise with healing upon my wings. Say the Spirit of God. I arise with healing. I arise with healing. I arise with healing. The healing power of God is in this place. I arise with healing. Adonai, Lamb of God, forget about the rain and worship. You are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, Lord of lords, let your kingdom reign in my heart. Adonai, yeah, Adonai. Together, Adonai, 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 Shibala Balala Bakorada Baladaba. Zibron dogo balaka press ke bata balada baka ta prada gade balade bosh. Zikete bakaria da baranda basko prando go pashki bai. Stebele de baka da brande gade balada bara gade balaka sodo boko to brande kete. Zeka de gade baka de braga de balada bai. Go ahead and pray in tongues. Edify your spirit. Zata prata kata bala da ba kata prata kata bala da ba koso prando gotosh. Shaka taba raba da bala da ba kata prega da bala da bos. Mam prapa ta kata prata kata kata bala da ba koto fras kebanda. Shaka taba bala da bos. 
Pray, 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 pray. Build your spirit. Make intercessions. Let the Make contact with heaven. Rise through prayer. Le bronze ke bosha bal ke bronze ke bariata me kata prosko balabada bada katai se kata le bosu pratiada bash take charge over the heavenlies sente proski bati kata tata tapa kata se kata tata tapa kata bala da bos men ought always to pray and not to faint shoto to goto prokoto polo do bokoto fresh de kata bali bati abalabats I release upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication. Makata prakata parakate. Shakata bakata prokoto poko sakate. Shakate rekate makaposh kambatia. Ekrakata gade gade bagade 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 Mekate protis kabaria da bas kam pros ke bos ekrata ta ta pokoto pros ke baba 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 lekate pakora sikate balada ba shakate pros kubari kete zindekete lekate baba 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 supa baba kata balada ba kati kana balada ba come on pray koinonia sikate kete baba 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 Shekatele baka pronze pata katai. Shekatele baka taba ba 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 ba. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Shekatele de baladabash. Don't be tired. This is part of the meeting. This is koinonia. Abrande kaparatos kopra di balada ba. Bala bala boso produce balada ba. There's an army rising up. There's an army. Rising up, there's an army. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. There's an army. The 
Lift your hands, everyone. Shikapatatabaladaba. Lift your hands. Sikaparente kabaladaba shikatai. Mande krada la pako prondos kobali kariada. Zete parata parikatai. Zekata repot shukotoi. Shikelepo sataya. Keep your hands lifted up. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to be touching men, touching women. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. From the front to the back. The power of the Holy Ghost. That's what happens when we worship. Yeah, yeah. The Lord is breaking limitations. The Lord is breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Hallelujah. 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 Please hold your hands all across the building. In the next five minutes, we are going to pray in tongues. The Lord is doing something in this place tonight. I began to sense this right from the morning. Hold your hands together. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to pray. Instrumentalists, don't stop praying. We are going to pray in tongues. Listen. Within these five minutes, there will be a busting. Something will break open. As you pray, for many of us, there will be a release of very deep spiritual virtues. This is not just ordinary prayer. Trust me. Hallelujah. Break every chain. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands. Lift your voice. Go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit. The Bible says, while they prayed, the Holy Ghost said unto them, Separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Lord, as we pray tonight, let there be impartations, let there be openings. Openings of portals, openings of vessels. Pray, pray. So toke teke teke pakata. Bambra teke te poko so prekete. Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Skete baka pra teke te. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. Right to the back. Make sure you pray. Spiritual doors are opening. Spiritual doors are opening. I see spiritual doors opening. Spiritual doors are opening. Access, access, access. Access is being given to men. Access to deep spiritual things. Access, access is being given to men. Matata, 
Monde que le posco se te balabash. Access in the spirit. Access in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. He told Jacob, for as a prince, you have fought with God and prevailed. <laughs> Shatata pakara baba kata rakata protokoto polodo bos shakata kata rakata pakoto bos manta prata kata lekata proskoto prokotos e prakata baba 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 come on lift your voice and pray There's an army, they are rising up, they're rising up, there's an army, we are rising up, there's an army, rising 
is enough. We will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Tell me, what can I do? I can live without you. I can live without you. Tell me, what can I do? I can live. There's a part of I want to sing. Oh, oh. Lift your voice, chant it in the spirit. Oh, 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 Sing it one more time from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. This is koinonia, an experience of intimacy with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's a family that has been on my mind. I don't know if they are here. The family with the... Is it the mad person now? Or the, are they here? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We're in for an experience tonight. I began to see this right from the morning. I'm telling you, chains are breaking. Chains are breaking. I still hear this in my spirit. Chains are breaking. 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 Oh, let the chains break. Every chain over everyone here. Every chain. Every chain. Every chain. Every assault of darkness. Every chain. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every chain. Every chain. Every chain is broken right now. Chains of habits, chains of limitations. Hallelujah. You're the person. Please confirm it. Where's the family that there was a there are people that spoke to me about someone? They are not here. Someone who got mad or psychosomatic. It's not a word of knowledge. There is a family that I'm supposed to minister to here. Okay, if they are not around, that's okay. Why are you here? Your brother, your elder brother, what's wrong with him? Come. How many years? Seven years. Where is he? At home. I'll pray the Lord will use you as a point of contact. Lord Jesus, let your power touch the brother, even through him, in the name of Jesus Christ.
Aleluya. The Lord is showing me many ladies with abdominal pain. Just place your hand there right now. The Lord is showing me many people, especially ladies. Hallelujah. I'm just going to rebuke it and I see like, like they look like guns, but it's fire, literal fire. It will live and it will hit you and that is the end of it. Thank you, Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, right now, I cause that pain. Go now. Go now. 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 Every devil of darkness responsible for every pain I cause you now in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Be healed right now. Be healed. The power of God is healing them right now right now right now you may not even know right now the sign is that it will touch you it must touch you you can't stand on your feet if you are part of this list it will touch you that's what the lord is showing me i cause that pain i cause that spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Everyone lay your hand on your chest. The Lord is going to rebuke blood conditions right now. Blood conditions. Blood conditions. Blood conditions. All those who are part of it, there will be this same fire. It will come upon you in a mighty way. It's a sign that you are the one God is touching. This is not something vague. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Right now, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, blood conditions, I speak to you. All those affected, may the fire of God set you free. Now. 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 Now, the power of God is touching people. Right now. Right now. I cast that devil. I cast that devil. I cast that devil. I cast that devil in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. I see visions of the spirits of infirmity, living people, living people, living people. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cast that spirit. <laughs> The Lord is showing me two ladies and I'm seeing a guy. You have a problem with sleeping. You don't sleep. No matter what happens, you don't sleep. You just stay awake and sleep never comes. Where are they? Two ladies I see the Lord showing me. Please, let's save time. And one guy. Please save time if, if, if you are the one just so that save us all of the time how long has it been huh six months how about you huh I'm seeing your hands chain your own situation there's, there's one more lady the Lord is showing me there's still one more lady there's one more lady the Lord is showing me Hallelujah. Come, I have to pray for you. Yours is more than a sleep problem. Hold my hands. I cast this chain in the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go right now. And I break by the power of the Holy Spirit. This spirit that causes you not to sleep. You are set free in the name of Jesus Christ. How many months? Six months. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Be free right now. You will begin to sleep normally. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is touching someone's ear. 
right now as I speak, the Lord is touching someone's ear. You will literally feel as though a cotton bud is put in your ear and all of a sudden it will open up and become clearer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I give you praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing a lady of a breast lump. You began to see this. You've not even shared it with many people. Breast lump is living right now, right now, dissolving and going back to hell, never to return to you again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are four people. Listen, there are four families that as I speak right now, the angel of the Lord is going to their homes and is causing major breakthroughs. Listen, listen. It's not, it's not just prophecy for everybody. Four exact people. One, there are four of them. Two, the angel of the Lord literally, literally, literally is entering these homes and they are receiving dramatic breakthroughs. Dramatic breakthroughs. The Lord is showing me over 10 people and I see academic chains. This is what I see. 10 people. 10 people. And this is not your fault. 10 people. I'm going to begin to count 1 to 10. And goodness, it's like fire. 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 I curse those spirits. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I curse those chains. I curse those chains. I curse those chains. It comes to an end. I tell you, it comes to an end. That chain breaks now and forever. It comes to an end. Hallelujah. Let's just flow with what the Holy Spirit is doing. If this is all he does tonight, that's all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing two eyes in the Spirit. And God wants to open up at least 19 people here in the realm of visions and supernatural experiences. Listen, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, prophetic fountains, those eyes in the spirit, Sheketata Parata. Sheketete Pokotosh. At least 19 people. At least 19 people. Shataka bariata. Fire, physical fire coming upon your eyes. Physical fire coming upon your eyes. Open them up, oh God, to these dimensions of supernatural revelations. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the angel of the Lord. And God wants to cause barrenness from two families. Now, two families, right now, just two families. Father, wherever these families are represented, right now, let your power visit and set them free now.
Alleluia. Lift your hands this row. All of you here, just lift your hands. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. From the front right to the back, there are people that God again is visiting their families. Families, families. God is bringing breakthrough. Right now, right now. Just this rule, Lord, in the name of Jesus, let those families, let the angel of the Lord, there are angels walking through this crowd right now, right now, right now, in the name that is above all names, angels of the Lord walking to families, performing specific miracles, specific miracles, specific miracles, specific miracles. Madonna, hey. hello, Kim Madonna, hello, Kim Madonna, hello, Kim Madonna. Hello, Kim Madonna. Hallelujah. I cast that spirit from this lady. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. There are some devils that need to leave this place right now. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 God is bringing mighty deliverance for people now. Every service is miracle service. Are you getting my point now? We're going to shout that name, Jesus. My goodness. I'm telling you, major deliverances that will bring breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. The symbol. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name. I command every devil and every spirit, every act of witchcraft and divination in the name of Jesus and at the count of three, they must come out of their hiding places and go never to return. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Reposhekete. I cause devils now. I cause spirits now. I cause spirits, every wicked spirit, out of God's people, out of every family. Now, I break spells. I break witchcraft. I break the power of divination. Bring them out. Bring them out. I cost that power. It's not just them. Families. They are families. I set fire. 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 Upon altars. I set fire. I set fire. Upon Hallelujah. Lift your hands again. God is visiting families. This is not about you. All the people here are representing families. Lift your hands. Oh, the fire of God must fish them out. There is no hiding for any spirit. At the count of three, you will shout that name at the top of your voice and a sword of the spirit will go to your family. There must be deliverance tonight. Are you ready now? One, two, three. 
of thy power shall the enemies submit themselves. All the people you see here, they are representing their families. God is stepping into families. Those doors must be open. I see ancient gates in the spirit. Ancient gates. And I'm about to command them to open. Listen, when I command those gates to open, those affected, you will feel it physically. These are the gates that cause limitations over people and families. But in the name that is above all names, I come tonight under this apostolic and prophetic anointing. <laughs> I command you be open. I command you be open. Hallelujah. Any family, lift your hands, that is tied down by any kind of limitation, I don't care what it is, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, if that spirit has survived anywhere else, in this place, this is the mount of the Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command those doors open now. I command those doors open now. Doors of breakthrough be 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 open now. By the force of the spirit, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Hallelujah. Self time in the name of Jesus. Come on, shout it, shout it. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. I declare that every force stopping the advancement of my family by the fire of the Holy Ghost, live now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Get 
Hallelujah. Pick up your Bibles, Daniel chapter 10. The devil is in trouble tonight. Zente kaparakata Pikata sitanda Zeke poko to poko to Pakata sitanda Daniel chapter 10 You have come for koinonia It's an experience It's a mountain Something must change about your life Kabrando gozo protoko shupalatapai Daniel chapter 10, verse 10. And behold, an hand touched me and set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee and stand upright. For unto thee I am now sent. And when he had spoken this word to me, I stood trembling. Verse 12. Then said he unto me, Fear not. Daniel had been fasting and praying. He said, For from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard. And I am come to thee for thy words. Verse 13. But the prince, listen. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. And lo, Michael, one of the chief princes came to help me. And I remained there with the kings of Persia. Listen, the Bible says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Then it says, against principalities, against powers. Then against rulers. Then against spiritual wickedness. They do not operate in the earth realm. The Bible says they operate in the heavenlies. This prince of Persia was the territorial spirit across the land of Persia. So when Gabriel was bringing the answer, the solution, that prince stopped him. I have been put in charge of this territory to make sure that breakthrough does not come to men. To make sure that men are not lifted. But there was a man in the earth realm who kept praying. And while he prayed, it was on the strength of his authorization. The, from the arsenals of heaven, the archangel Michael had to come. Because he's the archangel in charge of war. We are going to pray tonight. Every land has territories. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Every land has territories. And there are spirits. Those of you who have listened to the message, give me this mountain. There is a spiritual dimension to life. And there are, met, there are certain things that will never manifest in your life until you prevail in prayer. Jacob held on to him. He said, I will not let you go. He said, leave me for the day break it. He said, no way. He said, what is thy name? He said, Jacob. He said, your name will be changed to Israel. For as a prince, you have power with God. And you have prevailed. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Don't let anybody fool you and tell you what we just read was the Old Testament. And in the New Testament, when you pray, it just comes. It, 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 it makes... Listen. The kingdom of God is a system. The earth realm is a system. Are you getting my point? It is as soon as Zion travails, hallelujah, that she will put forth. There is a birthing. This is the ninth month. If you didn't come to pray tonight, I'm so happy about the rain. Because you won't go anywhere. We are going to pray. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray now? We are going to pray. Listen. We are going to confront powers. Zechariah chapter 1, please, quickly. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 18. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 
Verse 18. Then I lifted up my eyes and I saw. And I beheld what? Four horns. A horn is a symbol of authority. Next verse. And I said unto the angel that talked with me. What be these? What are these horns? And he answered me. These are the horns that have scattered Judah. These are the horns that have scattered Jerusalem. These are the horns that are making your father to never reconcile with your mother. These are the horns that make finances to stop when it's about to come. These are the horns hindering the gates of marriage. Verse 20. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. Then I said, what come this to do? He said, these are the horns that have scattered Judah. Judah means praise. These are the horns that have robbed you of your testimony, of your joy. He said, so that no man does what? Lift up his head. They have put a barrier around your family and your life. And they have said, no man will lift up his head. So every time you want to lift up your head, there are horns. They station, the, hear me, and take seriously what I'm saying. They have drawn the boundaries. Man, takata, goodness. I tell you, I sense deliverance fire in this place tonight. Oh, those horns must leave. For sure. There are horns stationed across territories to make sure that men do not rise. Some of you, this is a limitation. You are the first person in your family to get to the university. There are horns. But tonight, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are going to step out and put on our priestly regalia. We are going to confront the heavens he told Job, he said, Has thou commanded thy morning? Did you speak into the heavenly territories? Did you command the things to align themselves? We are praying tonight. The Bible says the stars fought for Deborah. She was a warrior, and the constellations arranged themselves to make sure that enchantments could not go to the heavens. Lift your voice. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Come on now, you have to be more serious than this. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. All right. That every power. Across my territory. That wants to stop me. And stop my family from rising up I challenge you tonight by the blood of Jesus lift your voice and begin to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus we we place a demand on the heavenly host. We place a demand on the ministry of angels. We place a demand. Ipa tapa, 
Hallelujah. Oh, we are praying tonight. Jude 1. Jude 1, verse 9. You will see tonight that Satan is interested in this body that you wear. Jude 1. Everyone read. Want to read. Hold on. Do you see Michael again? Michael in Daniel. Contending against powers. He shows up again in the book of Jude. Read on. Want to read. Hold on. He disputed about the what? Spirit. Soul. Body. Satan wanted the body of a man. Satan wants the bodies of men. Not just their spirits. Because without a body, without a body, demonic activities cannot be carried out. The church is called the body that the Holy Ghost uses. It's called the body of Christ. The body that the Holy Ghost wears. There is a law in this realm. That any spirit that does not have a body cannot function in this realm. So Satan wants the body of Moses. If he looked for the body of Moses, Moses in the Old Testament, how much more your own body? So he will afflict you. He wants your body. So he will manipulate your body and all kinds of objects moving around. But the Bible says, Know ye not that your bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Know ye not. Listen. We are going to pray. I'm establishing a prayer point. Jesus entered the temple, which was his body, and he found out that there were strangers in that temple. Are you getting my point now? Those who should be in the temple were not there. And he found people doing business in the temple. There were transactions going on in his body. That's the same way Satan carries out all kinds of transactions in human bodies. And you hear people complaining. Objects are moving in my body. You see people sleep in the night. And all kinds of devilish things come to oppress them. Tonight we are going to pray. Are you getting my point? Please if you are sitting except you are under the anointing stand up. And let's take some time to pray. You must get angry tonight and let's pray. Because something must break. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Lift up your voice. Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare, I declare that, my that my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. My body, my body belongs, to Jesus. belongs to Jesus. Therefore, every strange spirit, every strange spirit attempting to hold on to my body. I command you right now. Depart from my body now. Lift your voice and pray. Every stranger. Every stranger his body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Pray! Pray! 
Jesus demonstrated that he was not only interested in the spirits of men, but their bodies. Yes, what healing does to your body is what salvation does to your spirit man. Hallelujah. We are going to cause the root of sickness. I want you to get ready because the devil is in trouble. There's fire burning in this place this night. No matter how mad a man is, he does not enter fire by mistake in the name of madness. Are you getting what I'm saying? No matter how stupid a man is, in his insanity, he knows fire when he sees it. The Bible says he maketh his ministers wings. Are you getting my point? And his messengers flames, flames of fire. Every stranger in your body is about to leave. I don't care what it is called. Sickness is that. Let me tell you how you know that these things are demonic. Because many of us, when you pray on it, it will go. And then later on it will return. Right? You are a lady, they pray for you. And then for one or two or three months, you find out that your period just comes normally. No pain, no nothing. And then in the fourth month, it backfires again. There are people, recurrent headache, all kinds of devils. A growth comes and then it goes. You pray and try to treat it, it goes. We are going to set it on fire right now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says, know ye not that your body. I showed you from the book of Jude. Satan was fighting with Michael over the body of Moses. Hallelujah. This body is your legal access for living and functioning in this realm. If it is battered beyond repair, your spirit will no longer be able to stay there and it will have to leave. So if Satan cannot get to manipulate your mind, he will batter your body in a way that your spirit cannot live and it will have to go. We are going to pray. Many of us, as you are praying right now, you will be surprised. Huh? Now is the time to pray all those. Hold on please, one minute. Genotype. Huh? I've read my Bible from Genesis. Please listen. This is very serious what I'm sharing. There's no mention of any nonsense of genotype in this Bible. Have you read your Bible? There are many ladies right now, many guys, they cannot even get married. They can't think of anything because the devil put one rubbish embargo called genotype. S, S, A, S and all of those rubbish. Now you want to get married or you want to settle down, they tell you no. Health wise, every parent is carrying their child and running away. The devil is in trouble tonight. We are going to pray. If he was not here, he should not be in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Believe what I'm saying. Whatever has affected this body has affected God's property. And we are going to pray. And invoke his presence that he will rise in his jealousy and attack any stranger. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many of you, as you pray, growth will disappear. See, the trouble is that many of us have been praying, but we we of course I know not here, but generally we, we do not know the power of the corporate anointing. Psalm 133 talks of God depositing the blessing where people are gathered together in unity. That's different from your personal prayer life. Are you getting my point now? We are going to pray. 
There are traits of infirmities around your family. There are traits of infirmity in your life. There are many of us, all sorts of embarrassing conditions, skin problems, to the minutest, to anything. Hear me, no matter how small it is, it is according to your faith tonight. Are you getting what I'm saying? He said, whatever my father has not planted, whatever he has not planted, it must be uprooted. Don't sit down and tolerate it. What you tolerate in your body, the devil will use it to destroy you. But when you resist the devil, the Bible says he will flee. Lift up your voice. We are going to pray again. Say after me, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness, every infirmity, every abnormality in my body, hear the word of the Lord. I command you to leave this body now. I command you to leave this body now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every stranger Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2, verse 24 and 25. Joel chapter 2. Let's start from verse 23. Joel 2, verse 23. Want to read? Verse 24. Verse 25. Shout it with all your heart. Shout it. Listen, listen, listen. We are still praying. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Based on the word of God. I place demand. 
for restoration in my life, in my family. Hallelujah. We're going to pray that prayer again. You know the areas you want restoration. Please, we're not playing games tonight. The presence of God is here. Hallelujah. When we get to that party, we'll mention it. And we're going to pray. The Bible says, I will. It didn't say, I will send someone. I will supervise your restoration. Hallelujah. The years. We're going to say, Lord, turn the hands of time again. Turn the hands of time. Let that which the devil has stolen be restored. There are things that need to be restored tonight. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive, receive sevenfold restoration, seven restoration of everything the devil has stolen. In my life, now mention them. Your health, whatever it is. Jesus because our eyes will see the desires of our hearts and our hands will handle it hallelujah God bless you please sit down just give me 10 15 minutes and we're out of here this is all we have done tonight it is worth it there's no place for you to sit, stand, sit on the floor, sit anywhere. Go ahead. The service is already on, so. Please, there should be no vacant seat. There are still people standing. If the person is under the anointing, let the person lie down on the floor and let someone use the seat. Hallelujah. Revelation is not knowing what the word of God has said. Revelation is knowing how to make it work in your life. Hallelujah. Revelation is not knowing what God has said. It's not even knowing that there is a kingdom principle. That's not revelation. Revelation is knowing how to make that principle work. If it cannot work in your life, then it's useless. Hallelujah. See, we keep sharpening ourselves like this, like arrows in the presence of God. We're sharpening ourselves because we're trusting God to attain a stature in the spirit where no power in existence can stop your fulfilling God's destiny for your life. You believe that? There is a generation that is depending upon our faithfulness. The Bible says, he that sows to the flesh 
will of the flesh reap corruption. And he that sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap life eternal. We are making investments in the spirit. We are laboring, we are traveling. You won't be surprised when you see your life and your prophetic destiny tomorrow. Because you will know that yes, it is God's grace, but Paul said it this way. I am what I am by the grace of God. Right? But he said, this grace was not showered upon me in that I labored more than ye all. There is grace that manifests as the favor of God. And there is grace that manifests as supernatural empowerment to do. Hallelujah. The Lord is changing your life. I'm telling you. Gradually. The Bible says line upon line. Precept upon precept. Your value system. Your life. The quality of your Christian experience. It's changing. And then like the 71 day. He will trust you with responsibilities. He will send you. And you will be shocked. To see. That he has built you to be his finest. The finest of the finest of the best. Don't trivialize what God is doing in your life, brothers and sisters. Week after week, you're submitting yourself to the dealings of the spirit. And it will translate into something in your life. You may not look like it now. See that? There is no outlet. Who wants to look good when you are rehearsing? Have you seen an athlete like that? You are conscious of your shoe. Let it not have mud. No, 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 no. When, when you are training, you will see footballers get dirty and all of that. But when they lift that trophy, huh, they can now dress and enjoy the celebration. My Bible tells me that no man that warreth will entangle himself with civilian affairs. These trainings will prune you. It will, it, will, it will build you. Listen to me. It will challenge you. It will stretch you. It will provoke you. But when you submit to the dealings of the spirit, the end of it is peace. Something will happen in your life that money cannot buy. Something will happen in your life that is not common. You will now know that it is not common to be yielded to the spirit it's not a gift not everybody is interested there are many people who are born again but very few people are interested in the things of the spirit so God is teaching us we spend time now to pray and travel in the spirit you cannot imagine the levels of victory and so you would just step home and you see that doors begin to open. And some of you, your loved ones will not know. They will just say, aha, things are working well now. Things don't just work. They are enforced in the spirit. Learn this. Learn this. Learn this. One day it will change. It's a waste of time. Time does not change things. Are you getting me? Engaging kingdom principles. 38 years. That man was at the pool of Bethesda. In less than five minutes, he got up. He would have remained there forever. So the word of God that you are receiving, you must believe it. Please hear me. You must believe it. If you're just sitting down and watching every week and just looking and hoping that this word will make sense one day, you may be deceiving yourself. The Bible says ever learning. Have you seen people like that? They have all of the revelation but never coming to the comprehension of the truth. Depart from those kinds of people. When you come into the presence of God, give your heart. It says meditate on these things. Give yourself wholly to them. And it gives you an assurance. What's the assurance? That thy profiting may appear. Look, let me tell you. Um, you see, if your life does not bear fruit after a particular time, you will be frustrated. Because it's God that sees the heart. Men look at the outward appearance. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Men do not have the ability to see the heart. 
So your Christian experience must translate into a testimony that glorifies the name of the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If it does not, your family members will never see the relevance of your commitment to prayer and to the study of the word, the disciplines and the constraints of the spirit. Say, my life will bear fruit. Say it, my life will bear fruit. Brothers and sisters, if you go to your house and there is a sick person and you have a revelation and you pray for that sick person, stand up my brother, and you pray for that sick person and the sick person stands up, do you know that that is a sermon that is more than one year of beckoning up? You don't need to invite people and say, come for God. No, 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 no. The woman, at the, Samar the Samaritan woman said, come and see a man that has told me everything I've done. What is the result in your life that compels people to want to know about God? If your life continues to remain a barren wilderness, there is no reason why people should be attracted to your God. There was something that Ruth saw and she told Naomi, he said, my, your God will be my God. Hallelujah. It's not just for you to come and watch a man of God doing great things. No. It's to provoke your spirit and you go back with that anointing. You're not falling down for nothing. Say, I'm anointed. Say it. Some of you are even laughing at yourself. Say it. It has nothing to do with fivefold ministry. It has everything to do with being alive. Hallelujah. And you step into your house, you step into your place of work, and you step in as an ambassador, as an envoy. Don't let people mock your emoji. Emoji for nothing. Emoji, emoji. They keep calling you. When there's trouble, they pass you. You are emoji as a nickname. No. Emoji, you say yes, and they pass you, and, and you are not contributing anything to the kingdom. Elisha said, hi, I love that guy. He said, let Naaman come and know that there is a prophet in Israel. Hallelujah. That there is a prophet in Israel. Can the devil look at your family and say, ah, if, if only I can shift Zuera out of the way and like a big hen, you stay there and say you are invited. I have become a shield. He said, as for me and my house, for many of us, it's as for me and myself. It must translate beyond you. Are you getting my point? You shield others. You are minding your business and you see the devil trying to oppress somebody. You say, Satan is my business. It's my business. Whether you invite me or not, it is my business. You must let this person go. Hallelujah. Listen. It's not enough for you. Don't get used to seeing miracles, healings, deliverances. You know, in Koinonia, we're so used to miracles. When it happens, you just watch one of those things that's happened again. You see, it's a lesson. It's a handwriting upon your life. Are you hearing me? That God is challenging you and telling you that your life ought to be supernatural in every way not just by making noise and disturbing people when they are sleeping praying in tongues no it must translate it say let your light so shine before who before yourself before men you already know you have the light but they do not know he said let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds and as a result praise your father in heaven when was the last time Someone spoke to you about his situation and he said, that's all right. That's all right. I come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you picked up your phone. You said, let's pray. Many of us, is just, hey, yeah. See, I just returned from Koinonia. It was powerful this night. Ah! You missed. And Ben said, I'm, I'm having a little stomach ache. Said, oh, it's like that. Let's, let's just lie down. It's too late. The chemist is closed. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. You need to get angry one day. Are you hearing what I'm saying? As soon as you get home, you hear your sister saying, finally, my name came out. They are about to, to downsize me and, and, and do all of that. And you say, Toh, 
I'm sure that God knows how he will work things out. Look at what you are saying. You are the ambassador. You are the voice of God in that room. You must die. One of the things I've learned, listen to me. One of the things I've learned about working in the anointing is that you must die to your ego. Hello? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many of us are so conscious. What if I, I tell the people God will bless you and God doesn't bless them? Tomorrow they will now see me and say, Pastor, that prayer, you know people are so funny. Pastor, you prayed and the prayer didn't work. Oh. And you feel stupid, you feel embarrassed. If I do well, God should take the glory. If nothing happens, who should take the shame? Uh, answer me. Who should take the shame? So if you are taking the shame, you are being... Hallelujah. Go and pray for the sick person. Pray. Let the person die in your hands. No problem. Just pray. You now go and find out what is wrong with you. And then the person says, there's, there's one wound. If I open it, you say, ah, you wouldn't have even told me. Look, just quietly go to the hospital. Challenge your faith. Hallelujah. You say me, I'm not a man of God's wife. I want peace. I don't want to trouble Satan. Let him know. Take away, you see, I believe that our mindsets are changing. That mindset of, I don't trouble you, Satan. Don't trouble me too. Let's all mind our business. It does not work in this earth realm. Are you getting what I'm saying? It does not work in the earth realm. There are many of us, I would not be surprised that there are some of us who sit down like that. You believe that because you are not active in the things of the kingdom, when the devil comes, you will jump you and go and look for those who are really causing him trouble. And he said, the devil pass, please pass. I don't have anything. I didn't look for any trouble. It doesn't work that way. Satan does not disturb you because you have become a slave to him. Right? But you must, you must tear down the assaults of the devil over the lives of people. Say one more time, I'm anointed. Say it, I'm anointed. The Holy Ghost just took over this meeting. Let's just flow with the way he's... I'm anointed. Look at your hands. Everyone look at your hands. I know you have been insulting it. That it doesn't look nice. Forget about all those ones. Look at your hand. Whatever you have, there is your hand. Whether it's rough or smooth, it's irrelevant. Just look at your hand. I'm talking about the spiritual, the spiritual content. I like you to say, my hands represent the hands of Jesus. They carry the anointing of the Holy Spirit. They can produce results and work wonders. Do you believe that? This is, God bless you, this is my mentality. This is my mentality. My hands are not just for eating. No. It's, there, is, there is something upon my hands. Jesus has placed his hands upon my own hands. Many of us, we keep falling down and rising, but we are not blessing anybody. I want to ask you a few questions. Just a few minutes and then we'll round up. Listen. How many of us believe we are anointed? We just said we're all anointed. The question I have for you tonight is, who has your anointing brought to the kingdom? Has your anointing been able to save anybody? I once was lost. Huh? Come brother. That this brother was lost and on the strength of the anointing that you have, whether it was to save him, to get him healed, he has now come into the saving knowledge of the kingdom. If your anointing, listen, I will tell you why many people do not see more of the anointing in their life. They want anointing. And the first question is for what? What do you want it for? So you'll be speaking and people will fall down. If that is your definition of the anointing, if that is your scope, you know, especially the youth, we like power. And, and there's nothing wrong with it. You like the fact that you just sit down and say, I'm speaking, 
some of you while i was talking and things were happening you were it was as if you were pouring cold water in your body calm down the lord is speaking to you right now calm down if there is no passion in your hearts to see his kingdom come i am telling you now you do not need the anointing and you shall receive dunamis acts chapter 1 verse 8 please project it for us and you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and that power is to an end it says and you shall be what witnesses witnesses who is a witness who is a witness if tosin slaps this gentleman and i saw it what do you call me a witness if we go to the court i said tosin really slap. i saw it so i'm a witness the Holy Ghost makes you a witness. You were not there when Jesus died. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? You were not there when Jesus died. Were you there? You were not there on the cross. But now you are standing to represent a message that you were not there physically. So the Holy Ghost says, at least I was, I, was, I was there. I was not in Jesus on the cross, but I was around. I saw everything. Let me partner with you. You do the talking and then I will prove that you are not a liar. Are you getting what I'm saying? So you tell the sick that Jesus has healed you. All of this rubbish sickness is over. And the Holy Ghost says, yes, I was there on the cross. By his stripes, this guy has been healed. And you stretch forth your hands. And the Holy Ghost validates that your claims are true. Everyone say, I'm a witness. But the, the challenge is that many of us are not witnesses indeed you have roommates you have people in your workplace and there's no transformation no transformation the lord is speaking to us tonight hallelujah i may not have time to talk so much about it but i i, I really wanted to talk extensively on soul winning tonight when god just took over we give him praise hallelujah we give him praise because at least he visited people and he blessed people but the question i have for us is that who is coming to the saving knowledge of jesus christ because of the investments of the spirit upon your life there are many of us who are the only ones who are born again in our family there are many of us you leave people just in and you get up and carry your bible and come for koinonia and you are happy again and again we've had people here especially students when they're in their final year some of them get to find out about koinonia it's not like they do not know but for many people the god of this world has blinded their minds they don't care are you getting my point point? and some of us just sit down we just watch and the devil keeps destroying these lives and then at a point where they have two or three weeks to get out of zaria then they come and you see them crying and wondering and getting angry with you and you say sorry it's okay now and then you don't do anything about it again the lord is speaking to us do you know why many ministries let me be sincere with you do you know why many ministries are small small in terms of membership and small in terms of impact look at every ministry that there is a rich investment of the ministry of the holy spirit they are committed to turning many into righteousness right and transforming lives why should i want the holy ghost in my life why should i want his anointing when i'm not interested in praying for the sick right when i'm not interested in 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 seeing people set free you see the church has reduced anointing to money hello hello and many of us are already becoming victims of this theology our concept of anointing is just power to prosper so i have the anointing meaning i have the anointing to prosper financially so you buy the car you buy the clothes you build the house you do everything and you say i'm anointed if you have ever doubt my anointing Look at the fruits of my anointing. Car. House. Will car go to heaven? Answer me. Will house go to heaven? Listen, listen, brothers and sisters. We must begin to live 
having the passions of God in our heart. There are many of us here, we used to be committed to genuine evangelism. Genuine evangelism. And we are allowing this, this demonic wave of complacency in the church to just come around. There are many churches, I say this with all apology and due respect, they cannot even remember the last time they made an altar call and they don't care. Correct? They don't care. To an extent that we can preach and look at many evangelical meetings and crusades right now. On the crusade ground is money they are raising and doing miracles. As great as that is, the end of all of these things is to see a soul, not just saved in terms of the religiosity saved, but lives transformed. Every society is a reflection of the quality of the mindsets that are there. This is why we are passionate and committed. We do everything that we do week in, week out to make sure that souls are saved and lives are transformed. You will notice that I've almost not missed any koinonia meeting no matter where I am. No matter where I am. I try to make sure that Friday I am back. You know why? Because this work is my primary assignment. Any external ministration is just an extension of the apostolic impact. Are you getting what I'm saying now? But this is the core. And some of you are pastors. Let me talk to you. Or some of you are men of God. You have your church. You are in a year. You will only preach once or twice. And members are just sitting down and being confused under different kinds of messages and theologies. Everybody coming with his, I believe in the corporate input of the body. But the man, the one that God has put as a shepherd, you must stay and build the people. You are constructing an ideology and it must be sustained so that the people are built in that ideology. So that they won't be tossed through and through by every junk and every wind of doctrine. There are some things when some of you hear now, you won't even pray about it. Is that true? On account of what you have known. The word of God comes to build you. But when it builds you, it creates a sense of responsibility. You can't just be falling for nothing. And then you stand up and you just clean your body. And when you are going, you say, Kai! I fell today again. Oh, I've been falling the last three weeks. This person said, me too. Oh, this thing, I don't know how it works. That's not the goal. It's not a thing to just, it's, it's, it's for you. How many of you here have, have sat down to say, look, bring 5,000, bring 5,000. Let's make a very serious track. Track that is well edited and, and has the kingdom, not religion. Say, I don't have a ministry. You don't need a ministry. You need passion. You see, that's the mindset we all have. Huh? We believe that for impact to ever happen, you must have a ministry. So three friends come together, they bring the 55,000 and say, come, let's settle this. Who is the Jew of this group? Who is the real Jew? If they sow a seed now, who does it go to? That is to be carnally minded, the Bible says, is death. That's, that's really what carnality is. That you are already that see judas was not a bad person judas was a carnal person he looked at jesus and he had a business idea the name of his business idea was jesus how he can use jesus christ and make money that was all that was why he didn't even use the money he thought that when they come to catch jesus christ he would do his majestic thing again when he found out that that thing had backfired he died he killed himself How many of us here we are on Facebook? Some of us, some of us are on Twitter, some of us are, and we well, not 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 many. I say this for the sake of those who will be listening to the message. There are many of us, it's just rubbish. If you are happy today, everybody will know on Facebook that you are happy. Joyful, the sun is shining. Tomorrow, if you are angry, this world, what a dark place. Your whole your whole emotional life on display, idleness. We don't live with the consciousness of the kingdom. As you are laughing, please take seriously what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Yet we want to see the glory of God in our lives. What is wrong? 
with using your post and say lord i may not be a man of god i may not have the power to heal the sick now but i commit myself is that true to making sure that every week one soul is saved i must come for koinonia with somebody sister how has your beautiful face translated into soul winning in the kingdom let me talk to ladies your beauty is either bringing people into the kingdom or taking people out of the kingdom is that true there's nothing as neutral so the brother sees you and says sister you are very fine say we give glory to the, the name of the lord i'm inviting you let me use this opportunity and invite you if you are afraid of talking to the person about jesus christ some of us once they just say you are beautiful just say ah let me not bring jesus into it as if jesus is putting sugar inside food you know it's as if let me let me savor this moment now it doesn't come every day let me enjoy it jesus stay away let me not bring any religiosity and then the lord watches you from the throne and says you pray you want a ministry you want a ministry where you are everywhere. You want an international ministry and God sees your heart. And he knows that there are some levels of the anointing. If we give this person, you are going to be a disaster to the kingdom. And he measured a thousand cubits. That man was there. Until he proved that he was faithful. Then another thousand cubits was measured. There are some of us, even if you fast for 100 days, I am telling you, more anointing will not come until you step up your passion and your, and your reckless abandon for the things of the kingdom. We're afraid of being looked at as being fanatical. Right? So many of us, I'm not a man of God, please, please, I can, I can so see it. You know, there's this theology people teach, there are those who give, there are those who preach. Many people say I'm in the category of the givers. No, everybody is in all three categories. You must give, you must pray, you must preach. Hallelujah. Don't just say me, I'm a giver. And then, because the man of God really needs money desperately, he said you are doing the same thing with me. You who is giving me, I'm preaching, it's all the same thing. It's true that it's the same thing, but if it's the same thing, it means you can switch. It's still the same thing. Preach to who has changed because of you. How many of us does your presence judge sin and iniquity? Listen to what I'm saying. Does your presence, I'm not talking of condemnation, right? I'm not talking of condemning people and just writing people off. That's, 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 that's something else. That's a theology that came from hell. But does your presence judge sin and iniquity truly? That someone wants to do something bad and your presence is an inconvenience to the person. For some of us, your presence is a, is a catalyst. Bless your head. Thank God you have even come, sir. And then let me not even, let me not just bypass this. How many of us have truly made up our minds to part with iniquity? Listen, listen. Please do not ever think that there is a way of negotiating your way into intimacy with God. If you really want authentic power, iniquity must be far from. When I talk of iniquity, you, you know what I'm talking about. It must be far. Don't say it does not matter. Don't say it does not matter. I'm repeating it. You must hear me. Don't say it does not matter. You will never walk in authentic power. That's why a lot of people cast out demons. The demons cast them too. Because they know that Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself. We joke around with the issue of sin and iniquity in the body of Christ. And then we believe that because God is gracious, right? Iniquity is what will give Satan access to your life, your state of heart. Iniquity is not just sleeping around or drinking and smoking. There are fruits of that iniquity. Iniquity is a state of heart that is perpetually rebellious towards God and the laws of the kingdom. The psalmist said, if I cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. 
who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? He said, he that has clean hands and a pure heart. When there are still Christians giving bribe and taking bribe, you will never see the hand of the Lord. Don't say it does not matter. You want job. Somebody saying, bring 250,000 and you are happy. Say it's like that. It's Nigeria, please. Don't bring any church thing here. Bring it, oh. Bring it. Because you are the... Don't try to dichotomize your life and say, this is my social life. This is my spiritual life. What is the meaning of that nonsense? In one of the revelations, the four living creatures were in one body. Huh? Four dimensions functioning in one body. We must be far from iniquity. It has been the ancient key to the presence and the power of God. And by the grace of God Almighty, we will not water it down in Koinonia. We will preach the full gospel. I will tell you the truth. The secrets that bring the glory and the presence of God. There are many of us, we watch all kinds of nonsense. We think it does not matter. Look at, look at the way your mind is. Huh? You can't look at a beautiful lady and just go free. As soon as they are sharing the grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, you feel like starting another service for yourself because you have, you have polluted your mind watching all kinds of nonsense. It's a culture. It's a sacrifice. Am I blessing you tonight? Oh yes, it's a sacrifice. There are many of us ladies, anybody, you can even be walking on the road, somebody will just park car and say, enter. You say, oh, really? Let me enter first and find. What sort of, don't you live by values? Everybody say values. Say it, shout it, values. As a kingdom citizen, never forget this. We live by values. You may see us jump around, but let me tell you, the love of God constrains us. Hallelujah. Sister, let people be able to look at your life and say, how can a beautiful lady like this not be loose? And he said, no, I may be beautiful, but I have sold, I'm, I've given myself like a love slave to God. That I'm beautiful, you know, Many brothers see our beautiful ladies. You know Koinonia has pretty ladies, right? Brothers, say amen. amen. They are your wives too, so say amen. amen. But listen to me now. The issue here is that before the transition between now and when they become your wives, you must mind yourself and discipline yourself and be a genuine Christian. Hallelujah. Brothers, let me give you a little secret. If you don't mind yourself with respect to ladies, I'm not talking of sleeping around ladies. Men that are overconscious about ladies never encounter the presence of God powerfully. I'm not talking of sleeping around. You are just thinking. It's, it's, still, it's still the same thing. You are, you are stopping your mind from entering certain dimensions of the secret place. I'm not saying frown at any lady after corner and say, mm, I'm pressing it to God. No, that's not what I'm saying. There are many of us, our own encumbrances is what I call carnality. What you wear. You can be thinking of what to wear for Koinonia from Saturday. Which one will I wear? Let me add, it's, it's good. We believe in excellence, but be careful lest it corrupts your time. We believe in excellence, but let me tell you, it's better to wear bathroom slippers and come and focus and flog it out with destiny and change your life. Who cares whether you wear your visage or Gucci, thank God. But demons can bypass that visage and oppress your life. And that's what we are trying to tackle in this place. Are you getting what I'm saying? When you take care of your spiritual life, then you can beautify your body. On the other hand, let me balance it. On the other hand, there are some of us that are careless about our our bodies, we, we do not know that is still part of spirituality. Right? What you wore yesterday, you just look at it, smell it, it's not very smelly. You just carry it and you're on your way to Koinonia. No. Be intentional about your coming here. Don't make it look like it's a mistake. Be intentional. Plan. These are all aspects of the kingdom. Let everything about your life, neatness, neatness, thoroughness. Some of us are very dirty. The way you are sitting down looking at me like this, 
your rooms there are still plates there. all these things are i'm just showing you how that your life must draw people it will either draw people towards god or away from him and don't you say it does not matter the bible says add to your faith virtue the word virtue there is moral excellence say i'm changing especially if you really are say it i'm changing because some of you as god is speaking to you go back to your rooms and wash that plate this night wash it this night hallelujah if come sweetheart if i'm going to get married to this lady i'm taking my revelation of god together with all the unrenewed liabilities that i have i'm coming to say bring your own and and let's 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 wed in holy matrimony the question is are you going to be a blessing to your partner or the person will look at you and say had i known what deceived me what didn't i see huh say i'm a blessing the bible says in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed bless you you must be a soul winner from today whatever you will do to bring souls to the kingdom i say whatever in the positive way right don't go and do all kinds of babylonian things and say whatever let souls be one no in the kingdom the means is as important as the end i've taught you right because if if you say i am doing this and that so that souls will come i i allow the man to go for weekend with me because i'm trying to win him between now and the next one month he must be born again no no that's not that's not the kind of born again we're talking about praise the lord say in the name of jesus say in the name of jesus i become serious with my spiritual life in the name of jesus i lay aside every weight and everything that corrupts my christian testimony two more things i'll talk about and then we'll pray and we'll be done hallelujah i want to talk about two things i have seen across that stops many souls from coming to the kingdom number one is anger among believers write it I don't know where this impartation of the spirit of anger flew and came from there are many of your anger is not demons the demons left since february miracle service but the anger is still there anger rage it is an aspect of your christian life you must blot out you must blot out please write it anger You can be as calm as a dove. But when you get angry, you can give it to anybody. There are some sisters right here in this place. You would have been married since. If only you address this issue. If you like, go to prophet, apostle, pastor, teacher. You must change that. There are some brothers here. You don't have friends. Say, I don't care. I'm in a world all by myself. You have beat everybody close to you because of anger. Your younger ones run away from you. There's nothing about your life that is pleasing because of anger. There are many pastors today, the anger and the rage they have, they can finish preaching. Even on stage, they can almost slap the other person. I said, sing 10 or what, what are you singing? And you are wondering. And then the guy turns and says, let's pray. And he's looking and saying, yes, I go. Number two, immorality. Immorality. Let's bury this thing this night. Look at me. Look at me. Do not let anyone, please, 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 koinonia, my conscience must be clear before God and I must tell you, do not let anyone convince you, convince you, that a life of immorality you can be able to patch your christian experience and patch immorality i'm saying it now you must hear me in jesus name i'm i'm telling you this from the depths of my heart 
there are many of you as i'm talking even the holy spirit is saying thank you jesus finally i'm getting to i'm not condemning you <laughs> i tell you the number of believers sir the number of believers that are compromising on their christian integrity especially over the issue of immorality this is probably one of the biggest reasons why many souls do not come to the kingdom if you are involved in all those things i love you but you must stop this night in jesus name say amen whether it be you are part of it or not say amen immorality is not just sleeping around hold on so that you don't just say thank god me i don't sleep around even god knows hold on pornography pornography right now we have our blackberries it's amazing you check christian phones and see the kinds of things there i'll talk about it pornography all kinds of other devilish things and don't just blame the devil the day your roommate sees you and says, ah what is this with naked they say it's satan I'm, I'm even waiting for the end of the month no don't mock god don't mock god don't make it look like you come for miracle service and say lord i'm open and then you receive that one there are many of us we are great men and women of god but this is the setback in our lives right look listen to me this is this is bethel the place of bread huh what i'm doing to you now is like a, a doctor giving a patient injection you feel the pain, but that chloroquine must enter so that you will be healed. Immorality. Sisters, let me talk to you. You must create rules in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you have not been doing it, create rules. If you are in a relationship, talk about it. You are in a relationship with, with a lady. Part of the reasons why you are in a relationship with her is because you are physically attracted to her sit down and be saying i'm a man of god and you'll be very surprised warn yourself tell yourself myself behave receive grace from god create boundaries huh i will i will tell you this don't think oh this is the law mm -hmm. man if this law is going to keep you focused and useful so be it so be it hallelujah there are many of us study yourself sister you know you are very vulnerable huh don't go as i say i know he's just a pastor it's been long since i washed his plate was the plate not washed was it not washed thank god for your generosity but you must be careful anything you cannot do in the open is questionable are you getting what i'm saying and many of us who are pastors here you are the we are the ones that are subject to the greatest attack hear me hear me man of god you accepted the call and you are careless with your life you will be very surprised if there is the call of god upon your life guard your anointing or you see the way men embarrass themselves you can fake healing deliverance is what will really show you whether you are all of that you'll be casting and demons demons are just laughing and saying all kinds of things it should never be so we are going to pray because i know that there are people affected in these areas are you getting my point and trust me if you think you need help please see me for counseling i am more than more than willing to help you we are a family don't say i'm a man of god i'm struggling with masturbation or struggling with immorality and i think is 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 an issue there's nothing to be ashamed of are you hearing what I'm saying? There is nothing to be ashamed of. Because you see, spiritual things cannot be hidden for too long. They will find expression. Immorality is something we, we must work. I know God is helping us. We are young people, right? The TV, the media, all kinds of things. The, the challenge on the average young man right now is, is maybe 100 times more than it used to be 40, 50 years ago. I understand that but it's still not an excuse and please don't let anybody fool you that everybody is doing it huh there are many of us that will tell you who is not doing it no mm -mm. there are people who truly truly have taken advantage of the grace of God and they love God sincerely 
May you be one of such in the name of Jesus Christ. May you be one of such in the name of Jesus Christ. Make up your mind. Look at me. I need to pray for you. Huh? You need to be very, very serious with God. Welcome home. God loves you and he wants to transform your life. Huh? But for now, you'll be delivered. Right? Thank you, Jesus. Right now, I curse this spirit. Leave her now. I see you in the realm of the spirit and it's time for you to go. Take away this devilish thing you are put in her life. Right now. Out. I hear the chains falling. You are not standing in for yourself, but for your elder sister. God wants to visit her. Lay your hands on your stomach, because what is happening to her will happen to you. Lord, I take out anything you did not plant in her sister's body. Even right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let there be restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. I need to break the spirit of loss from your life. Huh? I need to break it. I'm not saying you're a bad girl. Are you getting my point? Hold my hands. Just look at me. You are a devil of darkness. Leave this girl now. Go! Out of her now. Break chains. Your eyes is open, but in the spirit you are blind. And God needs to open your eyes. That's why you are in a lot of confusion. Father, let her eyes be open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I break the spirit of timidity from your life. And you too. Same thing. Same thing. Out! Leave her. God has not given us the spirit of fear. on your stomach just look at me Lord set her free from this pain something will come upon you right now and that demonic pain will go let her go Thank you, Jesus. hallelujah hallelujah Where's the woman that came with her family from Abuja? Is she here? Quickly, madam, come with all your children. Please, all of them. Celebrate them as they come quickly. Break. Your time of visitation has come. That devil that oppresses you. Just give flowing strings. Please just play something for Hallelujah. Witchcraft. This is what is destroying the whole family. Witchcraft. This is not just the issue of prayer and fasting. This is the issue of deliverance out of this. Right? Where is the son? Come. Something comes upon you. You feel like something comes upon you. And when it comes upon you, you do a lot of destructive things. You will even have power that ordinarily you won't be able to have. Is that true? You feel that kind of thing? Yeah. You'll be delivered. Yeah. Right? Amen. Madam, I need to pray even for the finance of the family. It's not like you are lazy, but you are suffering for nothing. Is that true? Please help us. Is this mic working? Hallelujah. Okay, don't worry. We'll just use one. Is that? Yes, sir. I need to pray for you. Huh? When someone works so hard, so hard and then in the end of it there is nothing to write home about it's an error but the Lord will correct it my brother the Lord bless you you are born again you love Jesus just you or your children myself and my children 
Hold my hands, my brother. Look at me. Jesus will set you free right now. Right? You believe that? Hold my hands. Let's cast that devil of darkness out of your life. Father, by your mercy, in the name of Jesus, go! That's the end. It's free. I need to pray for you. You're going to feel like fire from my hands to your hands. And within two weeks, you will have a major financial restoration. Two weeks. You believe it? Jesus, confirm your word right now. Out of her. Now. Out of her. That devil of darkness. I command financial restoration for you. Where are the children? Both of you. You love God. You are going to teach the word. You. Huh? This boy, he's going to love God and he's going to, you know this now. God has already told you. Yes, he has been. God has told you. He, he, he has, has been, been into it. He, he has, has been, been into it. Yes. Because the Lord showed me. I saw him standing with a Bible and the Lord says he will teach the word. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'll pray for you. You don't teach the Bible just with English. There is an anointing. Tonight, I lay my hands upon you. Let that spirit of wisdom and understanding come upon you right now. Step into a new dimension. I open your understanding to understand scriptures in the name of Jesus Christ. You love God, but we must pray so that because of the quest for establishment, you will not join bad people. You want to be successful, but what God does not give you, you cannot get. Huh? Because there are bad people around your life. You are a good person, but there are all kinds of bad people, and we must pray. Huh? Lay your hands on your chest. There's something that will leave you. You did not even know when you started fraternizing with what is not of God. But tonight, my God, let there be deliverance. You are literally going to feel something leaving your chest right now. Let him go. Right now. Thank you, Jesus. Restore this family, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Go and return with your testimony. Where's the guy that has been skipping from university to university? His sister brought him. Are you here? The last Nsuka, bring him quickly. His time of deliverance has come. Everywhere this guy goes, spirits torment him. He has, come and come and stand here. This is your night of visitation. It's over. Look at this guy. Listen. I want you to appreciate what God is doing in this place. There are people whose lives are, I'm not saying clap. The greatest gift you can give anybody is not money, it's not car, it's to bring him to a place where he can find genuine restoration. Hallelujah. How many universities? Come, you are come. Are you not the one who brought him? How many universities? Same university. They've they've driven him twice. Twice. You think it's normal for somebody to get admission twice? UNN, right? Nsuka. Yes, sir. God will deliver him. Come, my brother. It's not, it's not like you are lazy. Huh? It's not like you are lazy. Because I'm seeing something like foam on his mouth. And you cannot even articulate. It's, like, it's as if you are manipulated. God is going to set you free. You believe this? Yes. Lord, you reign forever. Lord, reign forever. I worship you. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at me. Something will leave you right now, and you'll be free. Let him go. Now, Lord, restore to him the years that the canker worm has eaten. Restore to him the years that the palmer worm has eaten. In the name of Jesus Christ, restore to him. Restore to him. Let him rise up a brand new person. I worship you. Hallelujah. 
if there's any case of barrenness here whether for yourself or for your loved ones please come out here if you're married and you're experiencing barrenness let them stand in the front if you're standing here for yourself please don't just be emotional we're not joking here this is very serious business look at me look at me listen let me tell you something and don't please don't find it offensive every case of barrenness is demonic what did i say every every i don't care what the doctors say whether they say there is a womb or no womb the the person who is having this situation may not be a bad person but i'm telling you it must be resolved spiritually hallelujah please keep playing you're tired play the strings ladies and gentlemen see the number of people standing for loved ones how many of you are standing in for yourself for your sister just look at me look at me she's going to be delivered right now where she is from me. don't worry just look at me just look at me let her go you are feeling something coming up on you right now let her go now by the power of the holy ghost whether they say fibroid or no womb is irrelevant i'm just telling you that this is a demonic issue but when god steps in you won't go back you can't go back to the way it used to be before his presence came and changed me just try to connect and hold your hands together and lift it up madam come let me pray for you look at me how many years and then he stopped we are going to pray look at me this is a family thing hold on because it's not only you who else my junior sister your junior sister has the same thing she has never had a child that's to tell you this is a spirit but as God sets you free he will set her free too Onegi kagi ekele diwigi onye ne mema onye di kagi ekele diwigi lay your hands on your stomach onye na oria look at me onye di kagi go and have your child onye ne mema father in the name of Jesus onye di kagi I open up your womb to receive okay, baby boy okay, you will come back with a baby boy okay, lift your hands and sing before okay, hallelujah please lift your hands i'm going to pray for you whether you are standing in for yourself or for your family members the fire of God will come upon you and that person in question will be released you are standing as a point of contact my God I pray that from my left to my right in the name of Jesus let the angel of fruitfulness move across this place at the count of three one two three right now wombs be open Wombs be open. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Miracle children. Take it for your loved ones. Take it. Take it from the realm of the spirit. Whoever you are standing in for, I command all medical complications. Go. All medical complications. Go. I cause fibroid. I cause every cyst. In the name of Jesus, all those who do not have wombs, we put brand new wombs now. Brand new wombs in the name of Jesus. 
the fire of the Holy Ghost is burning a lot of things burning a lot of chaff every spirit of miscarriage I curse it right now I curse it right now I curse it right now the spirit of miscarriage every spirit that comes to eat up children in the womb I arrest you you are bound you remain bound hallelujah I prophesy to every one of you here make sure you tell your loved ones we prayed for them that in the name that is above all names they will not only take in they will give birth like the Hebrew women we forbid CS in the name of Jesus they will give birth normally no devil will eat up any child there will be no miscarriage and for those who have stayed a long time we command twins we command triplets let there be a restoration I provoke it by the hand of God please don't think we're just entertaining prophecy does not just reveal it creates it creates it creates I tell you a lot of things are happening pregnancy is not just when a man meets a woman Mary said be it unto me we put miracle children in their wombs right now from the realm of the spirit hallelujah God bless you please go back to your seat we see miracles everywhere miracles everywhere miracles everywhere. hallelujah now very quickly if you came here specifically for healing I want to minister to the sick right now specifically for healing or you brought someone sick now is your time please quickly ushers coordinate them so that they will line up very well you came here with any infirmity please if you brought someone now is the time to bring them out the worship team will lead us in a powerful time of worship as we rebuke that devil no matter how far you are wherever you are please find your way to the front you came here for healing it's called a miracle service it's not just a name please I need to pray for sick people fast because we need to release breakthroughs in other areas there are people who your own is not sickness your own is breakthrough please just line up those under the anointing just leave them there is a pool some of you as you are standing here right now the power of God will even begin to touch you before we minister now we are going to do it very fast hallelujah listen it doesn't matter what your sickness is right the anointing is not just the ability to heal is the ability to bring solutions to any kind of problem are you getting my point so while you are standing I like you to pray and say Lord I'm not going back the same I'm tired this is it this is it worship team lead us bishop please come help me pastor williams hallelujah please those of you who are seated make sure you are not just seated watching be praying in tongues we will minister very quickly in case you are seated and you've not written your prayer request let's save time now is the time to start writing your prayer request and our online community those streaming online please they can 
bring their prayer request hallelujah father thank you because of your power let every sick body be healed let every sick body be healed in the name of jesus What's our genotype? What's our genotype? I'm not her mom. Who brought her? Mother, where are you? Where's the mother? You are the mother. What's her genotype? SS. She's SS. Don't worry. We're going to change it right now. Huh? Not just her, but this is something that will need to happen in the family. There is sickness parading itself as blood condition. It's not blood condition, anything. Change this lady's genotype right now, baby. Let SS change to AA right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. And I cast the spirit of infirmity from her life in the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection in your body, in Jesus' name. Jesus, there is. What's wrong with you, madam? Jesus. Hold on, please. Your son too is SS. All of you are SS. Huh? You too, you are SS. Hallelujah. Madam, don't cry. Weep not. For there is one who is worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll. Hallelujah. Your child too. Can somebody collect the child, please? So that I'll pray for her. He's sleeping, so just let him continue his sleep. Father, we change his genotype right now in the name of Jesus. And we rebuke sickness. Please hold my hands. I need to pray for you. There is a lot of poverty in your life. Look at me. Why do people hate you? Huh? Is that true? What? I can't understand why. How can they just hate you just like that? Look at me. The enemy has done this. But tonight God visits you. Change her story, oh God. Change her story. You will return with testimonies of dramatic breakthrough in Jesus' name. All right, let's save time. Healing in your name. Jesus. As I pray for you, as you go back to your seat, make we sure you check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Say Jesus. In God is out. Come out. A glory out of her. Now. God. Out of her. Now. That devil of darkness. God be healed now. Out of her. A Spirit of infirmity. God is a glory. Be set free now.
somebody a lady outside there is one lady the power of God will come mightily upon her please bring her in I need to speak to her the power of God will come very mightily on one lady very very mightily I can't remember why I called you people honestly let me pray for you your father is in this meeting where is he i need to talk to him you're the best eh? he's not around i mean he's here you mean he's in town he's in town he's not okay i thought he was around i need to talk to him go and tell him that the gates of delay has been shattered look at me look at me does it make sense to you what i'm saying go and tell your father that the gates of delay has been shattered father confirm your word i give you praise Your hands will bring bread to your table. You are a creative person. Make use of your hands. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to specifically deal with certain things right now. Hallelujah. Um... I'm not going to ask you to come out but I hope that they came out here we want to rebuke all kinds of incurable diseases I just want to take one or two minutes 
and rebuke incurable diseases because if we do not help God's people medically is incurable HIV hepatitis all these satanic things around make sure you never believe these things and settle on them believing that that's how we would be so please stand up everybody stand up please Please rise up everybody. We want to speak against every medical report that the doctor has said nothing can be done about it. And in case you are here and any of your loved ones is in the sick bed, please connect with them even as we pray right now. Hallelujah. Father, I pray right now specifically for incurable diseases we depend on you and we ask for your mercy without your mercy these people are on their way to death but I thank you because you are the resurrection and you are the life and right now in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands anyone with HIV in this place I declare be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ HIV be healed in the name of Jesus cancer be healed in the name of Jesus every form of cancer every form of cancer be healed in the name of Jesus every kind of hepatitis right now in this place I cause it to its root in the name of Jesus Christ hepatitis be healed be gone in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. For blood groups, we are going to deal with that one when I minister prophetically. Please lift your prayer requests. Pass it to the person at the last, at the last end. Ushers, please walk around all over this building. Hallelujah. Now the Lord is ministering to me. I want to specially pray for families with uncompleted building projects. Please find your way quickly and just stand here. The Lord wants to minister. Just one word I will speak. I want you to believe. I'm not saying you want to build a house, please. The power of God is touching people and changing uncompleted projects. Uncompleted projects. Please believe what I'm saying. I'm not just playing pranks here. As you're standing here, the Lord is going to set people free. Okay, if, if there's no space, just stand where you are and then I'll pray for you. Lift your hands, everybody. It will surprise you. The Bible says how that the hand of God came Lift your hands. The hand of God came upon Elijah the prophet and he ran. The Bible says he overtook the chariots of Ahaz down to Jezreel. I want to pray. We are going to pray for everybody prophesying speed but I want to pray because the Lord is ministering to me. Specifically for building projects. Some of them are tied down because of finance. Some of them are tied down because of court issues. Some of them are tied down because of diabolic demonic things it doesn't matter what category sir or Gaza, God is going to visit you because your issue is it looks like it's money but it's not money this is witchcraft God is going to set you free are you getting what I'm saying lift your hands please my God I pray goodness there will be a lot of mighty miracles I want you to believe Many of you are going to feel literally like fire. It will come on your right hand. It will come on your right hand in a very powerful way. All across here right now, the angel of the Lord will move right now. Right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, move right now. Everything stopping any uncompleted project. Your right hand, 
the power of God is a prophetic language the right hand of God is power and by that power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus I command every uncompleted project be completed now in the name of Jesus be completed now in the name of Jesus every power stopping any building project I challenge you right now in the name of Jesus every lack of finance responsible I command supplies from heaven supplies from heaven supplies from heaven supplies from heaven every land issue in this place every court issue we resolve it here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ go and return with mighty testimonies let the hand of God the finishers anointing let it come upon you and upon your loved ones a finishers anointing that unction that comes to finish what you have started receive it right now in Jesus name God bless you please run back to your seat submit your prayer request very quickly hallelujah please listen there are a number of people here the Lord is ministering to me Mike can you play strings who is playing please play strings 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 just play strings hallelujah the Lord is showing me a few people here please listen you had a dream and in the dream either a dog or a serpent beat you please come out there are a number of people in that kind of situation God is ministering to me that devil is a liar and what please if, if this is if you're part of these people I've mentioned please come out a dog or a serpent I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit is showing me because this is very demonic that lady is, is, is one of the people and she'll be delivered right now no matter where you are hiding even if you didn't come out here as I pray the power of God will locate you it's a very serious situation please stand up everybody Please stand up, everybody. Bala, you're just going to clash the symbol for me. I'm going to pray. Because this is a very demonic thing. The Lord is ministering to me. This is the deliverance of someone right now. A snake or a, or a dog, an animal, beat you in the dream. It didn't create any effect, but you may not know what it is causing to you right now goodness i see a pruning fork an angel of the lord standing with a pruning fork hallelujah at the count of three as they clash the simba there will be mighty deliverances here and some of you in the crowd as it's happening to them it will happen to you hallelujah father right now let your power begin to move every demonic object in your body right now at the count of three come out Jump out and go. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Out of them. Out of them. Some people in the congregation, it will touch you there too. Out of them. Every foul spirit. I'm going to lay my hands on everybody. Out of them. Out of them. Out of them. Out of them, out of them, out of them. Please help them. Devil of darkness. Out of them, out of them. Come out. Come out. Everything that has not been planted by my father that is responsible for your limitation.
families. Preachers have told us once you are born again, it's alright. You are filled with the Holy Ghost. You are seeing it by yourself that it's not alright. There is an operation of the kingdom that must separate you with darkness. Some of these people, what is happening to them is responsible for stubbornness, immorality and we come and preach in church. We say stop it. It can't be stopped. Till that devil gives way. Bring this lady for me. Let her go now. Once and for all. Remove this demonic ring. I see a lot of rings on her feet, on her hands. Remove it and pack your load and go. 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 You should thank me for what I'm doing. I'm preparing your wives and husbands. You just get up and come and meet a lady. And then you don't pray. You see why we tell people to be spiritual. That's why many people keep wondering. Why will a brother come to me and run away? Or why will a sister come? I break covenants. This is an usher. Oh. This is our own usher. Go! Go! I see you in the spirit. And I command you to go. 
this spirit that is tormenting this lady the Lord is showing me this thing has been in this family for 178 years this is what God is showing me it has nothing to do with her out in the name of Jesus Christ let's save time have you submitted this father let none of these people return with any influence it must let them go it must let them go hallelujah so you see a student will write jam and write wayek and enter the school and all of a sudden become dull and people keep insulting this child is not good you think people just smoke because they want to smoke or they sleep around just because they want to sleep around brothers and sisters there are influences and it takes the power of the holy spirit to keep the devil where he belongs so that the people of god can enter the reality of their inheritance that's why you see people who keep testifying oh breakthrough just started happening in my family you may not know what has been limiting them that's why here we don't just heal the sick i told you the anointing is the power of god to solve problems any kind of problem it's not just healing it's not just wheelchairs there are destinies that are tied down and they need the power of god you will be amazed that after you leave this meeting tonight doors will just be opening you will see how easy it is and then you will know that something happened to you it doesn't matter whether you came out here or not once you are under the influence of this sound something is happening to you hallelujah i want to pray on this request right now hallelujah many of you have communicated your thoughts and that of your family members right here please if anyone has not submitted your request do that very fast as we pray on these requests i don't care what you wrote here may this be the last time you will see it in the name of jesus christ every pharaoh and every egypt that you wrote and dropped here as surely as the lord god lives this will be the very last time hallelujah stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues bishop come please pastor williams come as we pray on the request pray in tongues pray in tongues make sure you are praying in tongues visitation oh god Sembre toko shoto balakapa. Visit your people. Mam breke te 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 pakata ba 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 ba. Visit your people, O God. Let there be breakthroughs. Visit your people. Visit your people. Visit your people. Visit your people. She breaks the ball, da 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 ba. Oh yeah. She can't take it, ba 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 ba. Oh rakata ba da da ba. Please stretch your hands. Connect with us. All those online, they should connect with us. Lord, let this be the last time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh dear. Thank 
Thank you, Father. Because with you, nothing is impossible. With you, no request is impossible. Anything that is not in existence can be created. Father, we thank you. Because this request cannot defy your power. Thank you, Jesus. Because it is possible. Thank you, Jesus. We see the answers. Lord, we receive in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Because from this night forward, we begin to see the manifestations of everything we wrote here. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for healing. Thank you for breakthrough for families. Thank you for jobs. Thank you for marriages. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. We celebrate you, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We declare and we speak over these requests. We turn them into testimonies. We turn them into testimonies. We turn them into testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you're a minister of the gospel and you came, you came from another place. What I mean, minister, make sure you're a preacher, minister of the gospel, you're a ministry, and you came from outside of this state, please come out. I want to minister to you right now. Hallelujah. Is there anyone like that? Please quickly, quickly, let's save time. Just come and line up here. The Lord will ignite you tonight. Hallelujah. Do ministry with integrity. Do ministry with truth. Ministry is not about money or flamboyancy or manifestation or going on air. It has no, nothing to do with that. Hallelujah. Ministry with integrity, with the fear of the Lord. That who you are in the open is who you will be in the secret. The secrets of the Lord are with them that fear him. And he will show them his covenant. I want to pray for you that God will characterize your life and your ministry with signs and wonders that struggling will end for you in the name of Jesus Christ lift your hands as I pray for you my God in the name of Jesus let something come upon them in the name of Jesus let something come upon them by the power of the Holy Ghost let something come upon them in the name of Jesus let something come upon them let something come upon them in the mighty name of Jesus we're about rounding up please rise up the prophetic ministration is the greatest part of this meeting as far as I'm concerned please stand up everybody this is the moment I want you to shout amen we're about to open doors breakthroughs of all sorts in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah Wherever you can hear my voice, make sure that you shout a big amen. Please lift your hands. The Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. It said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. This is not the doing of any man. What you see is an election of grace. When God calls people, he empowers them. There are vessels today carrying anointings that can change people's situations and change people's story hallelujah and i'm about to pray for you that something will truly open up in your life this is the part you get to receive lift your hands hallelujah can you play the keyboard mic please please lift your hands
I want you to shout amen with everything that you have. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, O ye everlasting door. Every gate limiting your progress in the name of Jesus we shatter that gate into pieces I shatter it into pieces into pieces I command gates 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 hear ye the word of the Lord gates I command Ephata be open be open be open be open gates of marriages gates of restoration be open anyone trusting God for a job here in the name that is above all names I command miracle jobs now miracle jobs now miracle jobs now I provoke your destiny help us May they find you. May they help you. May they honor you. For every limitation you have experienced in your life and your finances, in the name that is above every other name, I command breakthrough. Receive breakthrough. Receive breakthrough in every area of your life breakthrough in your academics breakthrough every result that is not your own we change it tonight we change it tonight let the angel of God go to every faculty every department we command change any family that has been victimized in this place any family that has been victimized in the name that is above all names whoever plan evil against your family we judge them this night let the sword of judgment rest upon evil to us let the sword of judgment whoever said your family will not lift up their heads May my God judge them. May my God judge them. Hallelujah. Every ordinance of darkness, every enchantment, every spell that has been written over your life that you will not become what God died, what Jesus died for you to become this night. We blot out those handwritings. We set those altars on fire. Those shrines on fire. And we release you. Anyone here who has suffered delay of any kind. I don't know what area you have suffered delay. Or your loved ones. But I want to pray for you right now. My Bible says, and I will restore to you the years. Canker worms can eat time. They can eat years of men's lives. But I pray, my God and my King right now, I shout it in the spirit, restoration, restoration, restoration. Receive it, restoration. I prophesy, I decree, restoration of joy of peace of finances of opportunities hallelujah there are some of you because of your mistakes of the past certain things have happened in your life and like samson many people are laughing at you and mocking you that will your strength return I want to prophesy to you just like the hair of Samson grew back I call forth anointings 
that left because of indiscipline I call back opportunities that left people because they misused it I call it back I call it back the God who changes times may he change times to your favor hallelujah now lift your hands there will be impartations right now it is vain to attempt to serve God without the empowerment of the spirit there are many of you who are passionate about the things of God what you need is fire in your life what you need is grace what you need is authentic unction I'm going to pray for you let the men around you know you are serving a living God lift your hands is going to clash the cymbal and I'm going to begin to speak and there will be impartations of gifts prayer altars will come alive dry bones will come alive make sure lift your hands thank you Jesus hallelujah you're going to shout the name Jesus once and I'm going to begin to speak many of you my God I pray especially for those who have never had encounters dramatic deep encounters let these encounters swallow up spiritual laziness swallow up prayerlessness right now shout the name Jesus once take it now receive it the gift of the Holy Ghost fire fire take it take it inside and outside fire the spirit of prophecy receive it the healing anointing I release it upon you go and heal the sick receive it the healing anointing take it prophesy visions I command visions visions let the vistas of the spirit be open up to you every gift available for your enriching I command prayer fire take it now take it now prayer fire prayer fire prayer fire Reketetete e prokotoba mamprakata e koske e bandapa reketetete reketetete e prokotoba I found the fire on your prayer altar it comes back alive I pray for you right now the Bible says because thou has loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with the oil of gladness and that oil sets you above your fellows the anointing for distinguishing take it now take it now take it now take it now everywhere you go be set apart be distinguished take it now hallelujah and the Bible says Esther went to a man called Haggai the one who took care of the virgins of the king and he gave her a particular ointment to keep rubbing for one year and she passed the king once and he found favor I want to pray for you that anointing that can cause you to ride sweatlessly that grace for favor in the name that is above all names receive it now receive it now receive it now Sh 
Sheka Baba Sekete Mam Protoskopa Shotekete Tekete Baba 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 Mam Pratekete Yes, be distinguished. The favor of the Lord is upon you. The favor of the Lord is upon you. It marks you. The favor of the Lord is upon you. It marks you. Hallelujah. 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 There are many of us who are praying and saying, Lord, what was I born for? Why did you bring me here? What was I born to do? I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. It says, Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written. No confusion. A purposeless man will never find fulfillment. I want to pray that God will grant you revelation of the reason why you were born that out of the seven billion people in the earth you were born for a reason therefore my god let the angel that brings revelation visit your people in the name of jesus through dreams through visions through prophetic confirmations receive the mandate of your life receive the blueprint of your life Hallelujah. Every habit that you are struggling with that is mocking your Christian experience, I don't care what it is, pornography, masturbation, anything that is compromising your Christian experience, right now, I judge the spirits behind it. I judge the spirits behind it. And I command them to let you go. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free from every habit. Be free. Hallelujah. For those of you who do not have a zeal to study the word again, it's not like you're not serious. You don't even know what has happened to you. There's no zeal to study the word. Some of you are finding yourself, you were once on fire. In terms of your word life, some of you would pray through the night, some of you would study. Suddenly distractions happen. I want to pray right now. Son of man, can these bones live again? And he said, only thou knowest. I prophesy to you, every dead spiritual life in this place, my God, I pray, let the wind, the east wind that reawakens dead things, that is responsible for resurrection from the east side of the spirit, let that wind blow over your life and bring restoration now. 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 hallelujah listen to me god wants to make the best out of your life but you must be willing to yield yourself there are two kinds of people in this place right now there are those who have been taking these things of the spirit just playing around you may be born again but your life is so unpredictable you're not serious you know that you need to make it right. There are others who have never made this decision for Jesus. You go to church, you have a Christian name. Hallelujah. And there are others who are backslidden completely and they need to be restored. As I count one to five, those three categories of people, whether you've given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing, or you are praying and saying, Lord, I want to be serious with you from today. Or you are saying, Lord, I'm surrendering everything. As I count one to five, please, I'd like you to run like your life depends on it. God is waiting for you right here. One, please don't wait for anybody. Two, inside and outside. 
it doesn't matter what you have done run 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 i didn't say walk run run like your life depends on it three Jehovah, we praise you. Jehovah, we praise you. We praise your name. We praise your name. I want to pray for you lift your hands i salute you for making this decision this is not unto a man but this is unto god hallelujah i like you to say this after me from the depths of your heart please don't play games with god god is willing to make your life better than you can ever imagine now is the time to shame the devil and say enough is enough enough i'm tired enough is enough say after me convincingly from the depths of your heart Lord Jesus I repent of my sins you're not reciting a point make sure you understand what you're saying I repent of my sins and I love you with all my heart forgive me today I make Jesus the Lord of my life I ask for forgiveness cleanse me wash me I receive your life into my spirit from today forward ever and backward never I denounce sin and Satan and I live unto righteousness Holy Spirit come and live in me make me a new person in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted and I'll pray for you father receive these ones into your kingdom and your family let today be the beginning of a dramatic and a genuine transformation I break them free from wrong companies and Lord I pray that they will be empowered in the inner man to do mighty things for you hallelujah praise the lord now look at me every one of you i congratulate you this is the best decision you would have ever made in your life and i want you to know that no matter what went wrong in your life this is a fresh start hallelujah now tomorrow listen please tomorrow Bishop Stan will be meeting with you at the chapel just close to the chapel bookstore for the experience of the baptism in the Holy Spirit you need it, they will be guiding you sharing with you a few foundational things it's very very important time is what sir 5pm prompt please 5pm prompt for now I'd like you to follow the ushers they are waving at you and they will have your information we'll pray for you and we'll follow you up God bless you please follow them God bless you follow them very quickly hallelujah let's take the following announcements very quickly if you're worshiping with us for the first time this is your first time aside from those who are going out if this is your first time of worshiping with us here at Koinonia we love you and we want to bless you please wherever you are just find your way to the front right now God bless you. Please find your way quickly, quickly. Koinonia, celebrate them. This is not your best. There are people who came all the way from Jos, all the way from Abuja, different parts. Thank you so much. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. This is Koinonia. The ministry put together by Eternity Network International. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate and we celebrate you. We meet every Friday. This is not our venue. Our venue is CGC. We had to make an arrangement because there was something going on there. So we'll be there 
from next week we're back to our venue the lord bless you thank you so much for coming your life will never remain the same in jesus name stretch your hands saints of god and just bless them pray for them may the lord bless you we cause the heavens to be open over you we bless you with hunger for spiritual things in the name that is above all names may you experience the hand of god in dramatic ways you will understand the intimacy of the holy spirit in the name of jesus thank you once again for coming may the lord bless you may the lord honor you hallelujah i like you to just follow the ushers they'll communicate a few things to you and you'll be back thank you so much koinonia celebrate them very quickly god bless you thank you dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline